is the very first lesson of the Advanced Canvas Skills course. In today's episode, we will be focusing on using grids from the Element panel. Pause the video now if you want to see the basic agenda of the course. Look at the left side panel to see several tabs. Today's lesson will use the Elements tab. Type in grid to see your selection of grids. These are the sky and grass photos you see. I'm going to choose one with three segments today. You may insert colors or photos into the grids. Let me show you what I mean. Adding colors to your grids is very easy. Just simply click on one and then add your color. Click on the next one, add a different color. Click on the third one, add a third color. It's as simple as that. Let's move on to photos. What I did here was went over to the Photos tab and I typed in the word teal. And I'm just going to pull the first three free images that come up. One. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to pop it into place. I'm going to click on that one, pop it into place, and then I'm going to click on this one and pop it into place. And there you have it, using photos and grids. Now, let's customize these grids by changing the size and spacing of them. First thing I'm going to do is change the background color just so that it's darker so we can see it. Now, click on it, go to your corner or to your edges, and just shrink it to the size you want it to be. Say you want a vertical stripe like this. Or, what if you want horizontal stripes like that, right in the middle of your design? It works really great as lines. So instead of having to do lines individually, you can do grids and then resize them. Now, let's change the spacing between the lines. I'm going to make it a little larger just so we can see it. I'm going to go up here to spacing and where it says grid spacing, if I bring it to the left, it closes the gap. And if I bring it to the right, it widens the gap. So let's leave the gap about there and then we can adjust our lines again. See, pretty cool. Let's talk transparency. This is a super easy way to customize your grids. All right, let's take this same grid. Let's move it up here and make it bigger just so we can see it. And then up here at the top, there's this little transparency button. If you click it, you can change the transparency of your grid. Let's talk rotation and flipping. First of all, you need to know that you cannot flip a whole grid. It's just, there's no, if you click on it, there's no flip button. But there is this thing called rotation. And I'm going to show you that before I show you flipping within the grid. Now, it's really difficult to flip a very long thing. And I say flip, but it's really difficult to rotate a long image. What I'm going to do is shrink that image down and show you an example of something that I would do using this technique. I'm going to take this and duplicate it. And I want my next line to be right next to it, but I want it to be the reverse. Now what I could do is go up here and switch my colors. And that's actually pretty simple to do. But the other thing you could do is simply rotate it. Click on it, spin it. And then I know I want that one, so I'm going to duplicate it. Because duplication is easier. And I'm just going to keep going till I have the look that I'm going for. All right, what I'm going to do is take this whole image and I'm actually going to fit it 
to the size of the back box. Now let's talk flipping an image within a grid. I'm just going to choose a few random photos that are of flowers and put them within the grid. Okay, and now I'm going to flip them. So I click on this top one and I can flip the image so that the flowers face the other way. I can flip this one. I could even flip it vertically. And let's flip this one. Basically, the flip and anything in the top panel here only affects the one image clicked. It does not affect the whole grid as one. If you want to move one pixel up, you just use your arrow key by itself. If you want to move more than one pixel up, use the shift key and the arrow and it will move it 10 pixels at a time. You can do it left or right. If you hold it down, it will move it faster. You can even use the same technique with text. Now that we've talked about what grids can do, let's talk about what they can't. You cannot group grids with other things like text to keep them together. There is no group button because technically it's already a group and you can't group two things together. Maybe this will be something that Canva changes in the future, but for now, it is what it is. You can't group this together. I mean, to stay prominently, I could group them temporarily together and, and move them as one, but I cannot group them together to stay. Thank you.